this is a uh, basically party and campaign fundraiser uh, just to kind of kick my campaign off in a light way. This is kind of like a soft opening to the campaign. We're going to do much bigger things going forward, but we want to let people know that they can be a part and it's not so off-putting. We know we're in a recession, so we're not asking for a lot of money, but we just want people to help out and come and show their energy and just show their love. Well, the most important thing, obviously, to citizens is to make sure their tax dollars are spent um, appropriately and that public safety is first and foremost. My co colleagues on council, as well as the mayor, all agree on that. We've just got to work collectively to figure out how to get that done. Um, but for me, particularly in District 2, we've got a lot of great and um, dynamic things happening. But the most important is the new Center for Civil and Human Rights, uh, the Carter Center renovations and the renovations and uh, revitalization of Auburn Avenue and Edgewood to bring new life and energy, to keep that vibrancy uh, going that has begun on, on, um, on Edgewood, to multiply that by 10. So we want to make this Atlanta's new destination. All right, I'll be really, really brief, you know. Um, I know we got a party going on, and I don't have on a suit, so we're going to relax today, y'all. Um, first of all, you can imagine, I mean, this is very humbling for me every time I have one of these events because having such folks as my mother, my father, people like Tom Howe, State, Rep State Representative Kaiser, um, State Senator Orock, and all of you around me all the time encouraging me truly, truly keeps me going. Um, you are the energy that moves me, that drives me. It's when I talk to y'all that I get encouraged to do more because oftentimes it's very challenging to stay in this thing. It's, you know, they hit sometimes. I just discovered they hit with real punches. They shoot real bullets, and I'm bleeding sometimes. You know, it's, it's a real game, so you have to be able to stand through it. But when I, when I have people like y'all to come out, and you know, we really didn't email. I didn't do my email blast. We put it on Facebook. I know. And if you, Tom's mad about that. But you know, I thought it, it would be better to let it be organic and just let people come out and who wanted to show up and who could appreciate this great day. If you knew Ricardo, you know it's going to be a great party. If you know Tom, you know it's going to be a great party. Now, no less, and Edwin throw a great party. So we're going to keep this going. This might be an annual thing. But I'm um, really, I well. appreciate y'all. <laughs> I, I really, really appreciate y'all. I want to acknowledge one other person as I look back. Michael Hightower, former. County Commissioner yeah. of Fulton County. I should have said Yeah, I mean, you know, District 2 is the heart of the city. It's the most diverse part of the city. And I think as I look around the room, this is what I see Atlanta being in the future. I went away to college at MIT. I lived in Boston, lived in Chicago. Asian Hispanic. Huh? A little more Asian well, we, yeah, we're bringing that. We're working on that. That's coming too. But, but um, you know, I lived okay. in Chicago, Boston, D.C. <laughs> and all those places I saw diversity. I saw density. I saw pedestrian friendly environments. I saw transit that worked. I saw places with great food, entertainment, nightlife, and people living together. Atlanta's still growing as a city. We're still kind of like a town. And we're on our way up. We're on our way, but it's going to take all of us chipping in, making it what it can be. We can't just sit back and allow it to happen because it will not happen if we don't contribute. We have so many talented people here who can give their great their time, their talent, treasure, resources, whatever you can bring to the table, uh, there's a place for you in Atlanta. Um, the future, you know, it's, it's a little rocky for everybody around the world because of the economic crisis. But actually, I think it's good to have tough times because that's when people have to truly have to come together. That's when folks have to make stone soup. You start being resourceful in ways that you never were before. And I think that's what, what the future holds for us. So I'm going to try to enlist all of you. We have a big initiative going on in my district. We know public safety is the highest order of the day in the city. We want to make sure the city's finances are managed properly. You don't want to see people fighting. But past all that. I represent not only the place where the new Center for Civil and Human Rights will be located, a $110 million initiative, and we've raised $60 million, but also I represent the part of the city that has two Nobel Peace Prize laureates honored, the Carter mm -hmm. Center on the eastern end and the King Center for Dr. King. The Carter Center has a $10 million renovation underway that will be completed in October. So what I want to kind of ask y'all to do is to help me revitalize Auburn and Edgewood. Yeah, it's gone you. on for too Thank long. We've all Thank looked you. around at this Thank thing you. and we ride down there and it's, it's embarrassing. You know, people, a million people come to the King Center mm -hmm. every year and you see them walking down the streets, and you might have even had your family or friends, and you get these little tours from the homeless guys, you know, let me tell you about <laughs> Dr. King. You know what I mean? We gotta change that. We can do better. You know, we, we that's our front doorstep. The world comes to see it, um, and it could be one of the most cool environments that you always go to, not just for tourists, but for us. Um, you know, we're talking about the casino, and that's kind of somewhere else. That's not on me as a council member. But what I can do is focus on Edgewood and Auburn. And we have some great restaurants coming, Cafe Circa, The Bureau, Noni, um, what else? Corner Tavern, Danimans, Edgewood Pizza. We're going to bring more. Auburn, um, Harlem. 
dynamic dish. So we're bringing more. We have lead platinum buildings, three lead, two lead platinum buildings. So we're, we're environmentally friendly, but we need people to bring their ideas. Zyra, we've been talking about doing a Puerto Rican restaurant. We want on Edgewood ethnic really? themed restaurants, all types of, inter it should be our international restaurant role, like Adams Morgan in DC, or better, right. places like Toronto. We can do That's this. Right Auburn right. Avenue has our history. We can just bring more life and energy to it, make it safe, of course, clean, and something we're all proud of. So you'll be hearing more about it. I really need y'all to be a part of it. I'm not running for mayor because I think this is more important to do right now, and we can do it together. So thank y'all, thank you, thank you. Well, just, just